Hello, hello, and welcome back. I'm Claire, this is Purple Poppy. And as this fabric should tell you, we're on Sunday stitching. And it's so exciting. We've got new prompts. We've got, oh, a new, a whole new thing going on. <laughs> right, so, I, last time I was here, I showed you that I had slow stitched, or running stitched, all these odd little pieces together to make my cover. Having decided that I was going to be using this size, that was too, obviously too big. So I've sewn a much smaller one together. So this is now spare for a different project on a different day. Now, <clears throat> there was two, uh, three little holes in it there, as you can see. So I've darned those very roughly. I want the whole thing to be a bit hodgepodge. I've got a piece of a collar there. I've left the collar shape and the button. This is further round the collar. I've left that poking up. I'm not sure if I'm going to do something with it as yet. I did stitch my thistle and I printed a label. I did say to you that I wanted it to be much more sort of a journal notebook style. And I was just sitting here stitching away and I thought, this is silly, I need to turn the camera on. So I will finish stitching this later, but as I said to you, basically what's going to happen is that goes down there, that goes there. Have I put these in back to front now? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dear in me. Right, that's the spare set, Claire. Come on, wake up. Get with it. That's the back. That's the front. So, that's the back one. So, we have started on this very first title page. And if I'm totally honest, I was busy, as I say, working through it, stitching away. I was like, ah, oh, no, put the camera on. <laughs> so what have I done? Well, I've got my Tim Holtz stamps out and I've stamped a field label just onto white cotton. That's on there. I got out the dried flower stamps and I stamped in two different browns there. I've got my watercolour pencils out. And I've just done a little splodge of colour on this piece of calico. And then I drew three tulips because we are starting in spring. I'm sure you've seen the video by now. And in this book, The Treasury of Flower Designs, I found some tulips. And I love tulips, so I thought, yep, yeah, we'll do tulips. I then went into this gardening yearbook and I found that they're basically white and yellow with this deep red in the middle and obviously they're green leaves. So that's why I chose the coloured pencils that I chose to splodge on there. And the way that I got these three on, and I... I didn't have the camera on, which I should have done. But I'm not as confident at drawing as the lovely Corinne. So because this is a copyright free book, I just took some vellum and I traced round those top three with a pencil. Okay. Having done that with a pencil, I then took it to my score mat or you know my magic mat I took my blade and I scored various areas as you can see I didn't want to take any out and then I placed that onto my fabric I already had this done and this done and pinned down and I'd already done my stamping you can see because it's on the edge of there and then I placed this tracing paper, well it's actually vellum, but anyway, on there. And I ran my friction pen round it. 
and obviously it went through the tear lines or the cut lines and it left me half of the design I was then able just to draw it in you can see where I've sort of drawn it and I don't think that's bad really for what was there oh, feels like a lot of hard work <laughs> so um, I feel like I've got some writing here which you would have in a notebook I've tested out what colours I would be painting in or stitching in. I've got a random sort of sketch that I did while I was deciding whether I wanted to do these in large. This is obviously just a pretend story. Or whether I wanted to do the tulips that were near to me there. And obviously I decided to do the tulips, didn't I, while I was sitting in the field on a sunny day. So there you go. So that is my very first page. It's going to be like my cover page because I will be attaching the board to there. And I've deliberately made my board a bit smaller. So when I've stitched all of that page, that will attach to there. And there... Oh. And then this page, having been glued to there, will come over and be attached there. And that is what is going to hold this in place. So then it will come out like that. And as it comes back, we may or may not have stuff on the back. Not 100% sure yet. And then as I said to you, I think before, we'll have exactly the same on the other side. That one. Will be attached to there and then this one will pull out the other way so there you go so there's the plan that's what i'm doing and then of course it folds up like that yeah so far so good i'm quite pleased so i was just sitting here as i say stitching down this so let's pull in a needle Just stitching. Where has the needle gone? It's not that one. Oh, this is silly, isn't it? There it is. It's that one there. So white cotton and a needle, and I'm just doing uh, invisible stitches just to get these pieces tacked down. Now I am expecting a delivery because I am filming ahead exciting delivery so because I haven't been shopping that would be naughty wouldn't it <laughs> um, so I'm sorry if I have to put you on pause and open the door to my delivery oh goodness me here we go needle threading disaster but we will get there. We always do eventually. So what have you been up to? Are you excited to get started on this oh, fresh new project? Or are you stitching at something else? I know the other day I was watching Sally over at Dotty B. And she was doing... Oh, for goodness sake. She was doing daisies in preparation for it. Um, I've also been... <laughs> Just chat amongst yourselves while I fail to thread this needle. This is ridiculous. Um, I've also been stitching along with Jerry and doing my dot a day. So that's been going on as well. So lots of stitching going on in my world. Right, we finally got this um, threaded. Now, this is going to be a little bit harder because I'm going to come through that ticket because I, I don't want that flapping. I want that attached to that ticket. So just do 
little stitches through there. It's only craft card that I've stamped on. Oh, here we go. Don't start that. Um, it's only craft card that I've stamped on, so it's not, you know, anything major. But I didn't want this piece of white fabric flapping around. So I'm just going to get that stapled down with a few stitches. That's done. And then I need to go along the top here. This top is not done. I'm sorry, somebody's obviously just come home from work outside. So you can hear car doors banging and crashing. Although it's grey and overcast, and it's been raining for quite a lot of the day, it is still warm, so I have got the window open. And that's why the noise is elevated, as it were. Oh dear. So, there we go. We are off and running with a new project. Um, the prompt for today wasn't really a full prompt. I'm not worried about this side because obviously this is going to be glued down. Um, it wasn't a full prompt, it was just to get the title page done. That, I believe, is my parcel. Just a second. Right, sorry, I'm back. Um, did I tie a knot? Yes, I did. So, get rid of these scissors a bit silly, aren't they? Get rid of that. Now, where are we going? On this label, I believe. So this is just, again, a stamped piece of cotton that's been coffee dyed. Put a little bit of wadding underneath it to give it a little bit of sort of oomph. Mm. What have we done? Oh, we got a knot there. Okay. So. I'm going to have to dig into my bowl. My recently completed bowl. And dig out all the yellowy colours that I've got. And some deep reds and think about getting my tulip stitch now I'm not quite sure what to do I know a lot of the ladies are talking about thread painting now I have never made any attempt whatsoever at thread painting um, I believe that it's basically satin stitch where you sort of ombre, shall we say, the threads. I believe that's what it is. I may be totally wrong. I'm using the wrong term. I've got to be honest, I'm very nervous about doing that I just feel that there's such great room for error and for it to be a disaster <laughs> um, I know generally when people thread paint they tend to um, do it onto an image they've cut from fabric so you've got, as it were, or at least I think they do, don't know, I'm no expert as I just said. Um, so you've got some colour, base colour underneath, um, whereas of course I've just drawn mine, so there is no base colour at all. Um, I wonder if that will make it harder. I don't know. I really have no clue. And as I say, I'm very nervous <laughs> about doing it. Um, but I guess the only answer is, if we don't try, we won't know. So I'm not sure at the moment whether 
I'm going to play on a piece of random fabric and then decide whether it's going to be a disaster or whether it's just a case of practice. Um, if it is a disaster, I'm not quite sure where to go with it. <laughs> so it's a bit of a learning curve really. But I guess if you're not prepared to fail and at least have a go at these things, you're never going to learn anything, are you? So there you go. There's my philosophy for the day. If you don't try, you're never going to know whether or not you can do it. Because I'm saying all that in quite a negative tone. But at the end of the day, it might just work out fantastically. Got to be a little bit sort of positive about these things and give them a go and whoops find out so having got this on this on these pieces onto my cover I suppose it's going to be time to dig out some colour although I suppose before I do that it would make sense to stitch down my pieces because I have got these pieces on my page haven't I um, where I've done the painting and the now I'm only going to stitch in the middle I like that movement there need to get just a little bit more up here I've got another knot you know if I'm so determined all these knots would probably be enough just to give up on stitching, wouldn't they? Right. Just a couple more little stitches up here. Hear a dog yapping now. It's not my dog. You certainly know if my dog is barking. <laughs> That's a small dog. A little yap in the background. Right. So I think what I'm going to do now is save you the frustration of me re-threading the needle <laughs> I will put you on pause um, I will find my <coughs> I'll find my yellows and a red, although I don't need a red really, although maybe from the bottom. Um, so I'll find my threads, re-thread that needle, which I've now lost, see? Re-thread that needle, and then I'll be back. Okay, so, got my needle threaded. I've picked out these colours. Now, they may not match these exactly, but I'm thinking... We're going to have this creamy white on the top that will lead in to this which will lead into that no yeah um, yeah sort of like that I think anyway 
we'll see how we get on. It may all be a disaster and I may be cutting this page off <laughs> and only having three pages. We'll see how we go. So first things first, let's just do a little bit of invisible stitching and get this stuck down. It's not glue, Claire. We're stitching it down, not sticking it down. But hey okay, ho, there we go. So it's very bizarre. Much as I always film ahead, that's boo you can hear in the kitchen eating her dinner. Um I usually film ahead in order, so I would normally have filmed my Friday oh Friday, goodness me. My Friday video before my Sunday video and yet I haven't because it's Wednesday afternoon the girls have just put their videos out and I'm on it <laughs> so there you go let's get this thread cool there we go so yeah Obviously this is now catching this one as well. So we're getting sort of two for the price of one with these stitches, which is quite nice. So pop that down and then just run around this one quickly. And again, I'm not worried about the back of this one because it's going to be stuck to that board. Now, I don't know how we're going to fare with the other pages because you may remember me telling you a little while ago, I never did finish down the garden path. And the main reason, I say never, I haven't so far. The main reason for that is because... When you do these concertina books, because that's what I did with that one, you end up um, having to join pages together to hide up, all, you know, all the stitches that are behind. And I really don't like that look, which is why when I did my flower book, we... Um, we did our pages like pillowcases and flipped, not another one, no, and um, flipped them inside out, you know. So I'm not quite sure how I'm going to go with that yet. It's going to um, take a little bit of thinking about because I don't really want to have these stitched pages. I don't like it. Um, unless I can think of some real clever way of doing it I wonder no I don't know I don't know I was going to say I wonder if I could stitch some words around the edge and then that would enable me to sort of join all the pages with words and I wouldn't mind the look of that so much but of course then the words will be backwards clear on the page behind so i really don't know what i'm going to do we'll see we'll see what happens time is a wonderful thing so where am i i'm here I'm trying to restitch that take me that is there and get both at the same time again like I did at the top 
does mean that I have to come back and do that little corner. Um, but it's no major headache, is it? Really, we can do that. Right, that's that one. And then if I just jump to there, I can just do a couple down this side. <clears throat> I'm not going to worry about the bottom because obviously my tulips will be on the bottom there, won't they? Um, so it's just this little corner here. There we go. So that, oh, what have I done there? Nothing. That has now couch that down, not couch that down, stitch that down with a semi invisible stitch and we'll trim that off. Right, let's get rid of all this because that's all in our way. Let's get rid of this pin because that's now attached. And do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to pin all of this together so it doesn't keep flopping around all over the place. There we go. Right. So. That's there. I don't iron it yet, so I'll lose all these. Now, <clears throat> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. you just got to go for it, Claire. So, we're having this one, this one, this one, and then the lemon. Or do I do three, three, yeah, but then that's not right, is it? I need a more champagne-y colour. Right, we do these three, first of all. And I know it's probably wrong. I should probably start at the top and come down. But I think I'm going to start at the bottom and come up. So we pull that thread out. We get some of this lovely, vibrant orange. And I'm sure if there's any botanists watching they'll be going what on earth are you doing woman there would never be a tulip that looked like that <laughs> but you know what if I can get it to even resemble a tulip albeit the wrong colour I will be more than happy so get myself some thread put that in there so we know what it is move them up there Get ourselves a knot. We're going to start. <clears throat> We're just going to put our big girl pants on, take a deep breath, and we are going to go for it. So, going to start there. And I'm going to do stitches about that long. Don't know if this is right or wrong. I've got no clue what I'm doing, if I'm honest. Then I am always telling you, these are not tutorial videos. These are just me showing you what I'm doing. If you choose to follow the crazy path, it's up to you. Trying to keep similar length but not the same. Obviously, I don't want a dead straight line, do I? And I'm obviously now, rightly or wrongly, splaying it out from the bottom to um, get the rounded shape of the bottom of my tulip because it is rounded on the bottom oh. 
I'm laughing because I actually feel nervous. I can't believe, bearing in mind, it's red and cotton, which at the end of the day, you know, it's it's not a problem, is it? But, yeah, that's what I thought. We've got a, a thingy. There we go. Um, you know, it's, it's a bit of old cotton that's been tea-dyed and drawn on and what does it matter and a bit of thread what is there to be nervous of i don't know <laughs> i don't know because i want this bottom bit with a dark orange to be quite small in that i want it to represent Where's it gone? I want it to represent this bit here, that deep red bit. Um, that's what my orange is supposed to be doing. I don't know if it's going to end up doing it, but that's what I'm trying to achieve here. Whoops, I don't want to go lower than that line. There we go. And I suppose this is where potentially working in a ring might be easier. I don't know. You know, a hoop, not a ring, a hoop. Or oh, Claire, at least you use the right lingo. Goodness me, woman. In that one, it's going to go up there, and then I want that to come down. I don't know why I didn't do that before actually, because going backwards and forwards uses double the cotton, doesn't it? I don't mind that, but it's going to make it very thick and heavy. Perhaps that's what thread painting is supposed to be like. I have no clue. It's nice and sunny out. Yeah. Right. Really want all of this bottom field in, don't I? And then I can weave the next colour in from above as it were I don't know what I'm talking about <laughs> got no clue what I'm on about well we'll see Now that looks almost solid, semi-solid to me now. So get another one going sort of across the middle there, like that. I'm jumping all over the place now. But hey-ho, it is what it is. I'm going to go up there so that's a bit different again and then I want one there I think that's why when people do this in my thumbs going now um stranded thread they tend to only use like two threads which it does get you know pretty chocker Right, what do we think? Far from perfect, but I think it might be a start. Do you know what? I don't know how I emphasise these lines. I might have to go and watch a video. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Oh, that's funny, isn't it? I might have to go and watch a video on what to do in my video. Right, do you know what? I can always come... Oh, look, I've got a big loop there. I can always come back and put more of this orange in at a later date, can't I? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this off and I'm going to put the next colour in and see if I'm completely barking up the wrong tree or if this looks sort of acceptable. That's what we're going to do, I think. So, and then we can decide whether I'm going to cry <laughs> or whether I think it's okay. This is like a pinky orange. It's a paler, much paler version, but of that, I think. So, yeah, I think that will feed into there okay. That's an orange, and this is like a very pale sort of coral colour, isn't it? I think. I don't know. Anyway. Right. I'm just going to do a couple of stitches in this because I want to see how it sort of threads together, if that makes sense. And then I'll decide. I'll probably go and leave it in peace. Because I feel like I'm radiating stress. <laughs> oh dear. How crazy is this? Right, that's three. Get a knot. <clears throat> it's bird singing. That's a lovely sound. Um, and we'll see what happens. So, I am going to start down there between them two. I don't know if that's right or wrong, but that's what I'm doing. And then, it, oh, now I'm thinking that maybe this yarn is really too thick for this job because it feels like. Maybe not. I'm trying to come lower than where I finished that stitch, if that makes sense. And I'm keeping these stitches. So yeah, I'm doing this coral lower than where the orange finished. Um, and obviously I only did one row of that um, orange whereas I feel I'm going to do two or three rows of this coral and then give it sort of a white tip if that makes any sense at all and obviously it's very gappy at the moment but I'm guessing I can come along and fill those in. I don't know. I don't know. I've got no clue what I'm doing. But I think at the end of the day, as long as I like the look at the end, I'm not going to be overly bothered about how I got there. <laughs> that's probably the wrong attitude. But that's what I'm doing. I don't know, when I did the um, altered blanket stitch with the K3N video, it was about three stitches from the end before I accepted that it was okay. All the time I kept thinking, oh this is wrong, this is wrong. So maybe, I mean might actually work right i think that's enough frustration for one day ladies i don't know where to pull it so you can see it can you see it there i think you can yeah um yeah there's my introduction page if you like 
By the time I've seen you, I hope I'll have been brave enough to do some more of this. Anyway, as always, thank you so much for coming along and joining me. Wasting some of your time <laughs> watching me get stressed. Stay safe. I'll see you very soon. Ta-ta for now.